Here's a shakuhachi that's uh, not very refined. It's very cheap. Uh, a friend of mine made it. He was learning how to make. He was practicing, finding trees, cutting them, putting the holes in the right spots uh, to a D. This is 1.8, the standard shakuhachi. He was practicing. He got better and better. He got a big pile of throwaways, and he started giving them away, and I got one. Here's how it sounds. It's a wonderful sound, um, but actually uh, I didn't like it when I got it. I filed it and I sanded it smooth on the inside. I filed some of the ridges where the nodes are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes. And uh, you can see some holes are bigger and some are smaller. Um, he doesn't have his stamp on it. It's just, you know, I'm going to give you his name because he was just practicing. And so I bring this to gigs and uh, concerts where I play, and I explain that you don't need a instrument that's worth thousands of dollars. In fact, you can get a very cheap one on eBay. Um, as long as it is a shakuhachi, which has the right number of holes, um, you'll be fine. Until the time comes where, say, you want to get a teacher. Really? You know what? way more important than the, than the value or the quality of your flute is whether or not you have somebody to take you along in the tradition of shakuhachi. And that's the most important thing. It's far more important to spend your money on lessons and a little bit of a, on the flute if you, if, uh, if you can go that far. So here's, a, here's another sample of what can go right and what can go wrong. <laughs> You know, I'm struggling. I've been playing the shakuhachi for 30 years, and I'm really having trouble playing that note. So let's say you're a beginner. You may have a lot of trouble playing a lot of the notes. So in that case, um, if you could go for the $150 and get the bamboo U, a bamboo copy, it's called a U, Y-U-U. It's made out of plastic, but it's easy to play, and you might want to get started that way. Uh, it'd be way better if you had a teacher and you had a standard Shakuhachi, even though it was plastic. You can also get them in maple. You want to pay a little more money. Wood has a nice sound. I mean, just think of the recorder. But just keep in mind that this is shaved off. So to give you a sharp blowing edge, you're actually just blowing over a tube, like blowing over a bottle. So um, give, a, give it a try, whether you want to get one used and get started. Um, you can play this video or some of the others through nice speakers at home. Get a feeling for what the Shakuhachi is capable of. Uh, this is the root end of the tree coming right out. Now these roots aren't very fancy, but sometimes you can get beautiful roots here. Beautiful golden color as it ages, and uh, they can produce amazing sounds. So um, good luck in your shakuhachi journey. And uh, my name is Daniel Nyohaku Sergal. I'm a shakuhachi local here. I've played for 30 years, and uh, I teach in my studio here. And you can direct message me if you want to uh, Look for a flute, need a little help, or you can email me. Uh, so good luck.